Plenty of you would have seen the story of Jadon Sancho unofficially confirming he is joining Manchester United this summer. And fans are getting excited, understandably so. But what is the story? Where did it come from? And is it reliable? I'm going to give you all of the details about that story in this video. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down below. But let's run through this latest Jadon Sancho story. Now the report comes from the Irish Independent and this is what it had to say. It said every quiet word coming out of Old Trafford was that Sancho has unofficially confirmed he will join United. That Sancho had been promised the number seven shirt at United. He will join even without Champions League football and he could earn up to £400,000 a week if his progression continues over the next two seasons. That's a lot of new information. So the real question here that most of you will be asking is this story reliable. So I've done a little bit of digging. Now the story itself is written by Ken Lawrence. No, I've not heard of him either. Looking a little bit deeper, Ken Lawrence, it looks like he writes for The Sun, mainly covers all Premier League teams rather than being a United specialist. He's nowhere near the level of your James Duckers or your Fabrizio Romanos or those people that we consider reliable as far as transfer news goes. And for someone like Ken Lawrence, who I haven't heard of until this point, to break this story at this point with the circumstances around the world seems a little bit strange to me. So I'd be very surprised if this is all inside information that only Ken has got and nobody else has, but that's just me being slightly cynical. However, from an official point of view, Dortmund's CEO has been talking about Jadon Sancho's future and pretty much confirmed what I already said in the last video on Sancho. He was speaking about Sancho's future, talking about the coronavirus outbreak, having to respect what he wants. But it's the point he said at the end there, we don't have to sell anyone for less than their worth. Dortmund CEO there pretty much putting Jadon Sancho in the shop window, saying, if you want him, pay what we want and you can have him. And I've said that all along. Dortmund are a selling club. They built a sustainable and excellent business model around it. Erling Haaland will leave for that release clause that's in his contract and Jadon Sancho will leave, maybe this summer, for the price that they want. Now, what would that price be? I said it would be over 100 million. Let me know what you think in the comments. But in this report, it's saying 120, 130 million euros. It's an insane amount of money for somebody who's only just turned 20. But his record so far is fantastic. And although I'm not sure about the reliability of Ken Lawrence, it does raise some questions that I think we can discuss in this video. First of all, the wages there, saying that it could go up to £400,000 a week, hypothetically if that was correct. That would, for me, go against and contradict the work that Solskjaer has been doing on this cultural reset at United. Alexis Sanchez, the biggest example of that being wrong at United, players just coming to the club for money and nothing else. And it would sort of contradict the fact that Bruno Fernandes has been signed, who is a fantastic player, world class, he's been signed on very reasonable wages. So for someone like Sancho, who's 20, to come in on those wages would just go in completely the opposite direction to everything I think Solskjaer has been working towards. Now, of course, there'll be bonuses put into any contract, and I'm not saying he's not worth 400,000, no, I am saying he's not worth 400,000 pounds a week. It's important that United stick to the principles that we're starting to put back into the club. And then the number seven shirt. Would Sancho be given the number seven shirt at United? I personally don't care. Michael Owen, Antonio Valencia, Memphis Depay, Angel Di Maria, Alexis Sanchez. They've all, they've all tarnished the modern memories, modern recent memories of the number seven shirt. It's not the Ronaldo and the Beckham and the Cantona shirt it once was. Now, Sancho could come in, put that, on his, put that shirt number on and, and bring some life back to that shirt. But it's not as big a deal as it was previously. And that's my own personal opinion. You might disagree with that. But the history of it recently has been tarnished. So I don't think it's a massive, massive problem. Now, the report does say that maybe Sancho would be willing to join without Champions League football. And for me, that's a much bigger and more important part of that story. Because I think Champions League football, and whether United have it or not, I see that as one of the deal breakers for Sancho. But maybe that's not going to be the case. He's got mates at United. As I said in the last video, he's got, he'd have mates at Chelsea as well. But Marcus Rashford has grown into a role model at United on and off the pitch. Off the pitch right now, trying to help the families in Manchester with school meals. On the pitch, he's become the leader. 
not a captain, but just how he speaks, how he presents himself, he's grown into a fantastic role model. And for Jaden Sancho, who spent his youth at Manchester City's academy, it's an inspirational story to have seen what Rashford has succeeded in doing. And Sancho would want to do the same thing. So maybe their friendship would be stronger than I gave it credit for. And going back to talking about the wages, 400,000 pounds a week, whether it would cost 120, 130 million euros, it's an insane amount of money. Ultimately, I would not care how much we pay for him. I would care how much he was on wages wise, just so we can stick to this. If we are doing a cultural reset, we've got to do it properly and not just bend for one player because that is the beginning of the end. But Jadon Sancho is gonna be so in demand and it's in the last week or so without any football he seems to be the name that the papers are running with. Maybe this is just them filling their papers and us lapping it up. Sometimes that happens in the media, but maybe not. I'm not going to give Ken the benefit of the doubt here. I do think a lot of this feels unreliable, but it, it, it raises questions that I think we've discussed there. The wages, how much do you think Jaden Sancho would be worth wages-wise? How much do you think he'd be worth in terms of signing him? Should he get the number seven shirt? Do you think Champions League football would stop him? And how important would that relationship with Rashford and Lingard at United, how important do you think that would be in Jadon Sancho's decision making? But United need fresh blood this summer. A signing like Jadon Sancho, who's 20, played in Manchester previously, smashed it in the Bundesliga, a right winger, exciting. That's exactly the sort of signing that United need and it falls in line with the types of signings that Solskjaer has been making. So let's see what happens. But this story seems to be the main focus when it comes to Manchester United right now, with no football, with no anything. It's Jadon Sancho's summer move. And in terms of United, that's gonna be the main story coming in this summer. Will United be able to sign Jadon Sancho? The main story going out, will Paul Pogba leave United? They're the two big stories. And for me, I'd love to see Jadon Sancho at United. I'd give him the number seven shirt, why not? He's a sort of exciting young prospect. And I say young, he is young, he's 20, but he's got like 40 odd, I don't know how many goals he's got now. He has got an incredible record and I'd love to see United sign him. But let me know what you think about these stories from Ken Lawrence in the comments below. Do you think they're reliable? Do you think it's just paper guff? And do you think he'd be worth that much money and those wages if United were to sign him? As I've said in previous videos, make sure you stay safe, stay indoors and don't let this coronavirus spread any more than it needs to, and make sure you subscribe down below as well if you're not subscribed to United People's TV. Until next time, take it easy.